Well, what's up guys? All right, so now the next part of our project, the next phase is going to be the actual layout portion. Um, so this is when we actually get to see our components kind of come to life onto the board. So, you know, just like in that, uh, from idea to manufacture tutorial, the next thing we'll do is just click, right click, add new to project, and we'll just do PCV. And here it'll take us to this PCV view. Um, the only thing I want to do right at this point is set the origin and then we're going to change our snap grid to 100 mils right there in this corner. And I don't really want to do anything else. As far as resizing this, we'll rename this. Press in, press, fly back. Okay, so I don't really want to do anything else at this point as far as modifying the size of this. Um, so all we'll do is basically hit um, update PCB document and then go hit yes and we'll see what kind of errors, if anything. I want to go here and get rid of this stupid room. I hate it. It looks like it was able to execute all of our change orders. I don't know what those two errors it was mentioning were, but um, so here we have all the components got put on here onto our layout view. Um, so real quick, we're going to set this up, click view, connections, and we'll click hide all. So that makes the rat's nest look not as rat's nesty. Um, and then we're going to use this pro league stratus. We'll right click and we'll click split vertical. And then what we'll do is there's this, we'll hit tools, the cross probe. So you, hit, you hold control down and then you'll click and boom, it goes to the connector. So this is what corresponds to the connector right here. So then I'll select it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start, I'm gonna start grouping these components right here. I'm gonna group, I'm gonna start with my rectifier circuitry. All right, so now that I have all of the different um, little systems, little sections of our circuit grouped, I have them grouped into, I think, three main pieces. We have our bridge rectifier circuit and our input right here on the left. Then we have basically our, this is going to be all our flyback circuitry right here, like our little controller, all the resistors and capacitors that connect to it. Um, our transformer is kind of out here on its own because it's kind of in the middle of everything. Then we have our output circuitry. So this is our output capacitor, our output diode, and then our little bleed resistor. And then we have our output connector. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by making all the connections that are within these little groups. So I'm gonna connect all the capacitors to the correct pins, all of the rectifier diodes and all that stuff. I'm gonna connect all those together within each other first. And then I'm gonna worry about how the groups connect to each other after that. So the first thing I'll do is probably just um, start with something like this. And you don't have to be too worried about getting this right up against the edge because if you look at my snap grid, we're at like 100 mil, which is what is 100 mils is like 0.1 inches. So that's like what, what we're talking about um, right here. Now, maybe like in other designs, we'll worry about this. But for now, it's really not important at all. All right. Here, let's go tools, reset air markers. So we have some problems with this, but... All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we hit view and we're going to hit connections and we're going to go show net. And what we'll do is we'll click on something like this. All right, so that just shows that the nets that it's connected to. And we're going to, we're going to turn our snap grid down real low. Um, so I want these, see how close we can get everything together.
Alrighty, so now that I've got pretty much the majority of the layout done, I have all the components kind of where I think they should end up. I'm going to do a design rules check or run a design rule check and see if I get any errors. I'm going to work through those and then I'm going to do some other changes. I'm kind of just go through this, bounce through this process where I do a design rule check, make some tweaks, design rule, inching towards the very final design. So that's the next step for me. Excellent. So we got a hundred rule violations, baby. We're we're bad engineers. Break all the rules. Alrighty. Let's just take a look and I'll explain. Okay. So these unrouted nets we can ignore because these are all about with the grounds. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make ground planes. And I haven't done that yet. So don't worry about any of the unrouted net constraints. Um, the next thing is, uh, we'll actually look at whole size constraint. So I'm familiar with this one. It says uh, it's greater than 100 mil. So I mean, honestly, most of these are just going to be me modifying the design rules to fit the design already because uh, like just taking a look at the whole size one, we can't actually change the whole size because it's for a component footprint. So it's it's going to be okay. Yeah, that's pretty much the next part of this. Oh yeah, and also if you double click, you can see these um, where they, they show up. Now that it's really helpful when it's zoomed in this much, and honestly, it looks really chaotic. So I don't blame you if you think it's useless to click on, but it still shows you the location either way. Solder sliver. Slide. that because your minimum solder was at 9.716 mil. Oh, also I wanted to check. It's now. One I'm Look at that, we're already on only 13 errors. So it's actually really not that hard to chew through a bunch of errors really quickly. Especially when you just mess with the design rules to change them into what you want. All right, so it looks like we've gone through all the ones except for the unrouted nets. And those all appear to be ground. Oh, some of them. All righty. All right, so I think I cleaned up everything except for those grounds. So now the next thing we're going to do is... Draw in the ground planes. That's done with a place polygon port. But first, I want to change the snap grid to. All right, what we're going to do next instead actually is we're going to change the trace widths on these to, to because they're going to be some will be handling lots of current. I want to just change the width to thirty here. Okay, and another thing I want to do, so these trace widths are, are pretty thick here. I mean, the current isn't going to be that high. It's just the, the power is, is kind of high, right? There's going to be a decent amount of power dissipated uh, across these traces. Well, the, the traces themselves won't dissipate a lot of power, but they'll just be handling lots of power. I just wanted to thicken them up a little bit. Um, however, we know there'll be tons of current on these lines here. For that reason, I want to make these extra thick because we know up to one amp will be running across them. So, 
and do another polygon pour, but we're going to 25. All right, now I want to pour the ground planes. So basically what I did was I just made really thick traces on areas where they're going to handle high current. And then on the input, I just felt like it was just a safer idea. Um, in case it ever endures high, uh, high current spikes or something like that. All right, so now we're going to pour those ground planes. We're going to do the same thing on the, the bottom layer as well. So we're going to make... It's not we're gonna connect these ground planes oh, and they or they're technically already connected because there's through hole components, but we're gonna connect them with some more vias and stuff like that. That's good. So this one's connected to the high voltage ground. Right click polygon action or selected. There you have it. And now we're gonna go view board planning mode and we're gonna Design redefine board shape. And we're just gonna go a little bit outside of our polygon pores. Again, this doesn't really matter because we're I don't we're not gonna get this manufactured. At least not this time. Edit and origin set. So let's go back layer view so if we go to 3d layout mode boom it comes to life like look at this it's marvelous we have all of our little components i think this is the coolest part of this right um i'm definitely gonna put this in our in, in the intro video like it's beautiful um all of our components are on the board let's reset it and then F and flip it over and oh you see more components right there right there's a little flyback controller with little tiny components all our through hole components those really stick through a lot marvelous or IEC not stick through probably have to change that I'll, I'll edit that in the schematic library but that needs to change by a little bit we can even we'll go we'll worry about it later actually so boom um and this doesn't really affect anything other than for 3d modeling purposes you want this spot on in case you're designing like a case that's like like for example this thing right when you every mill is it's got to be locked in that, that matters a lot um other than that yeah like this at this point like the pcb part is is pretty much done um But yeah, I don't know. Be really if you made it this far, I would say be extremely happy with yourself, right? This is this is a great first place to be. This is our first project, okay? We're gonna do tons of these. This is how you get good, okay? By just doing them over and over until you can do them in your sleep. We're